The crowd touched by the sentiment lodged in that great old song. And now quickly we go to the post parade. The number one horse leading off is Waterbank. He'll be racing from the 13th hole, moving in a hole because Rock, Ste Rock Steady was scratched. And Ron McAnally is the trainer. The 1A is Casalaria, coupled with the one horse. Casalaria, one-eyed, as you've learned, claustrophobic and insomniac, but a good finishing horse with the faith of his trainer. And he'll be ridden by Daryl McHogg. The two horse, bold style, trained by Jack Van Berg. And he'll be ridden by a brilliant jockey, Jeffrey Fell was to have ridden, as you know, timely writer. And then the three horse, El Baba, now the second choice, trained by Dewey Smith, the colorful North Carolinian, and he'll be ridden by the great veteran Don Brumfield, with whom Jack Whitaker spoke earlier. The four horse is Royal Roberto, racing out of the fifth hole, trained by Jimmy Islin, Miguel Rivera, up. The five horse is Wavering Monarch, racing out of the sixth hole. And he'll be ridden by the hot jockey down here, a brilliant new name, Randy Romero. And the next horse is the current favorite, the prevailing favorite, Air Forbes One on Hell, Gordero Jr. up, Frank LaPosetta, the trainer, racing out of the seventh hole. You see the current odds of five to two. Then the late finishing horse, Laser Light, the veteran Eddie Maple up, racing out of the eighth hole. A strong finishing horse trained by Pat Kelly, muttering about whom you've learned a lot already. The horse, bred in Florida, raced in California. The current odds, four to one, and the jockey, the great Lafitte Pincai. And then the nine horse, Rockwall, moved in to the main gate because of the earlier mentioned scratch. Val Bioso, the jockey, the odds 45 to one. The 10 horse, Star Gallant, the grandson of Gallant Man. The shoe up, quick starting horse. Now in the 16th hole, the auxiliary gate, big problem. And then comes Gato del Sol, De La Husse up, racing out of the now 18th hole, had been the 19th, strong finishing horse, but terrible post position. And then the field horses begin. Cooper Coy's joy, out of the first hole, not an advantage here. The current odds for all the field horses, eight to one on Hell Santiago aboard joy. New discovery, good finishing horse. Jerry Bailey up, again the field. He'll be racing out of the third hole. Then comes music leader, the number 14 horse, Pat Day up, racing out of the ninth hole. Then comes Louis Wolfson's horse, reinvested, Don Macbeth up. He'll be racing out of the 10th hole. Then comes early speed horse, real dare, the 16 horse, racing out of the 12th hole. And then comes the 18 horse, remember they all moved in one. Rock Steady had been the 17th, or Hey Velazquez up, and now the odds seven to one on the field. The 19 horse, Majesty's Prince, Ruben Hernandez, he'll be racing out of the 19th hole. So there they are, 19 horses, your post parade for the 108th running of the Kentucky. As of this moment, Waterbank and Casillary, the entry at 12 to 1, bold style, 25 to 1. You see El Bob at 3 to 1 now, Royal Roberto at 9 to 1. There's Air Forbes, 1 at 5 to 2, muttering at 4 to 1, just picking out the favorites for you here. Uh, Star Gallon at 15 to 1, got her to Seoul at 21 to 1. And then the field horses, as we said, bet one, you get them all, 8 to 1. Now the post position will vacate. As we said, the first one in should going in there is El Baba going into the number four pole position. Winner of the Louisiana Derby. Only one winner of that race, remember, has ever won the Derby. 1924, black gold. Number four, Royal Roberto. He'll be way out of it. He'll have to get around a lot of horses. Roberto ridden by Mike Rivera, who took little current around some 17 or 18 horses, only to lose. Number five there was Wavering Monarch. Number six, you see Air Forbes won with a blindfold on. They take him in with a blindfold. He does not like the starting gate. That was one of the reasons he was not raced as a two-year-old. So this is not Castellaria, the one-eyed horse you're looking at. Uh, Castellaria used to race with a 
white patch over his left eye. That's the one that's missing. That today they tell us he's not going to be wearing that. He is not wearing it. But this is a blindfold intentionally put on Air Forbes One, ridden by Angel Cordero Jr., going for his fourth Kentucky Derby win. Remember, he rode the father, the sire of that horse to victory, Bold Forbes. Number seven there is Laser Light. A lot of people like that horse. Uh, he's been brought along very slowly, very capable by young Pat Kelly, ridden by Eddie Maple, a fine jockey. Number 14, Music Leader, ridden by Pat Day. Number 15, Reinvested, winner of the Tampa Bay Derby, ridden by Donald Macbeth. Here is number eight, Muttering, going into the number 11 hole, ridden by Lafitte Pinkai Jr., still looking for his first triple crown race victory. Never won the Derby, the Preakness, or the Belmont. This could be the day. Number 16 here is Real Dare. Finished last in the Louisiana Derby. Steve Cawthon was paid a large fee to come over to, from England to ride him in that race. Number one is Waterbank, ridden by Marco Castaneda. Now we're moving into the second gate. No horse has ever won the Derby from the outside gate. Number nine, Rock Wall, ridden by Eriberto Valdivioso. Number 18 is Wolfie's Rascal, New York horse, ridden by the mind jockey, Georgie Velasquez, adjusting his goggles. Now moving in, very well behaved so far, all of the horses in the starting gate. Number 10 there is Star Gallant, Bill Shoemaker riding him in his 22nd Derby. That's a record, beating Eddie Arcaro now. 1A is Castellaria, and now it's time to go for the call of the race to Mike Battaglia. Mike? All right, and thank you, Jim McKay. Gatto Del Sol moves in very nicely. Waiting only for Majesty's Prince on the outside, and we'll be ready for a start. They're at the post. And they're off. Breaking for the lead from the inside, that's Cupacoy's joy in bold style. On the extreme outside, Star Gallant. And up between horses, that's muttering and real dare. On the outside, Wolfie's Rascal, El Baba, and Air Forbes One both moving up. Down the stretch the first time, Cupacoy's Joy is in front of length. El Baba second ahead, Air Forbes One third ahead, muttering fourth ahead. Wolfie's Rascal fifth by a half length. On the outside, Star Gallon is sixth. Moving up from the inside, that's Bold Style seventh. Gap of two. Down along the inside, Music Leader is next. And up from the outside, it's Real Dare. Length and a half further back to New Discovery. On to the back stretch, Cute McCoy's Joy is in front, has it by two and a half. El Bob is second by two, Air Force one third. Gap of two to Muttering running fourth by a half length. Bold Style is fifth on the inside. Dark Gallant runs six by a half length. Between horses, Wolfie's Rascal seventh. Gap of two to Music Leader. Continuing down the back stretch, Cupa Coy's Joy holds the lead by two and a half. El Bobby is second length. Air Forbes one third. It's two lengths to Muttering Forest. Dark Gallant on the outside is fifth. Then along the rail, Bold Style runs a sixth. Gato Del Sol is gaining ground up from the outside. Also moving up now between horses, Rock Wall. They're midway through the turn, and Cupacoy's Joy leads at a half. El Baba's second ahead, Air Force one third, a length and a half. Muttering runs fourth, Gato Del Sol is fifth. On the extreme outside, reinvested, they're well bunched into the stretch. Air Forbes one has a head in front. Gato Del Sol on the outside with reinvested. Muttering now moves up between horses. El Baba down on the inside. In the final furlong, Gato Del Sol is in front. Reinvested is second. On the outside, that's laser light. Near the wire, it's Gato Del Sol with the lead. Under the wire, Gato Del Sol wins it by two and a half. Finishing second with the late rush. It looked like laser light may have got up for second in a photo. Over reinvested. Muttery may have held on for fourth. And Gato Del Sol, Jim, sent off at uh, odds of 21 to 1. An upset winner of the Derby. Well, there you have it. Gato Del Sol, the come from behind horse from California, has won the 108th running of the Kentucky Derby. Owned by Arthur Hancock III of Kentucky and Leone J. Peters of New York. Trained by a fine young trainer, Eddie Gregson, a pre-law graduate of Stanford University, but in the horse business for a good many years now. Ridden by Eddie Delahousse. Gato Del Sol means sun cat. Let's have another look at that stretch run because it's remarkable. The time, by the way, 2.02 and 2.05.
Now in the yellow silk towards the outside, second from the left, the gray horse is Gato del Sol. He's a beautiful, well-dappled gray. Saw him close up yesterday morning, and his eye is so alert. His trainer said, yeah, he's got a beautiful eye. Air Force One had the lead, but here was Gato del Sol, and on the outside reinvested the winner of the Tampa Bay Derby. Quite a surprise for him to be up there. And Gato del Sol narrowly taking the lead at this point. The others in hot pursuit of him. But nobody was going to catch him on this day. Now, trainer Gregson told me yesterday morning, he said, I'm going to do a Henry Clark on this. Henry skipped the derby. There is no way. He said, I'll repeat, no way. I'm running in the Preakness. We'll have to ask him about that a little bit later now that he's won the derby. Watch reinvested and laser light number seven going for second because that's very, very close. Let's see if we thought laser light got up or not. Here they come to the line. Laser light, that's unofficial, of course, unofficial, but we'll call it laser light second, as you can see, and reinvested third. But there, again, is the winner.